was really uh, happy with the way that uh, our guys competed. Uh, the fans were great during the game, which which led to our success too. And you know, it creates confusion for for the opponent. Uh, and I thought that we competed well for all four quarters, which I've, I've stood up here and said that before, but we did. And we, you know, we communicated well, we executed well, and I was just really happy for all the guys. With that, I'll open it up to questions. Wayne, how would you describe uh, Thibodeau's season to date, especially recently? I think he's, I, I mean, I, I've said this every time I come up here. I, I think he's a very good football player and I think he's having a really good season. I mean, you're talking about a guy in the NFL that, you know, as an edge rusher, as a as a linebacker who played 68 out of the 69 plays, which is a rarity in itself. Um, and uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, where, where's he at now? Five and a half sacks. I mean, he just, he makes everything roll for us. And uh, I know no matter what he does, uh, it, it might not reach the, what some people think he should be doing, but I, I, I think he's a, he's a hell of a football player, and I'm glad that we have him. I'm glad that that I've had the opportunity to coach him. What do you make of his number of pressures? Is it where you? Well, I won't answer for you. What do you make of that? Uh, you know, I, I think that we ask him to do so many different things. You know, so you know sometimes they're going to you know put all the attention on him. You know, going into that game, sometimes that you know we can get one on one. Sometimes we can't get one on one. So all we're interested in really, Kim, is, is just wins and, and, and playing well defensively. So, you know, it's just to, to point one individual guy out, I, I think we're going down the wrong street with that. There's, you know, there's guys that, that do a lot of the other heavy lifting stuff that, you know, in my opinion, don't get enough credit. And, uh, you know, he's one of them with, with how we move him around and how we use him. Week to that end, last week, uh, Leonard Williams was talking about how in a certain system you might be called upon to do different things. So overall, can you talk about this defense and how selfless it is as on an individual basis so that the, the unit can succeed? Right. I, I think that that's, that's the biggest thing and the hardest thing to do in the NFL is get 11, group, uh, 11 players in, in your group that are going to be selfless, that, that, that care about other people's success in, in that room more than their own. And you know, that's just today's day and age of life. And I think once you get guys who care that way for each other, I think you could be a force in this league. And we're heading in that direction. It's not there yet, but we're heading in that direction. Rick, how, do you, how do you feel Jason has played this year? And who? Jay, uh, Jason Pennock. Okay. And, and, and did, was there pressure on him in, in terms of replacing Julian Love, who was a, player, a, a captain and a big player on this team? Yeah, I don't think there was there was pressure because of that. I, you know, uh, I, I think that uh, he was the next man up, and and uh, I think that he's 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 doing well. There's you know, <laughs> some some little things that that he needs to still grow at and and, and continue to grow at. But um, you know, I think you saw Sunday that you know he's 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 a very effective piece of our, of our unit, and uh, I, I'm I'm really happy where JP's at. Where do you think he needs to grow? I mean, just at everything, all the little things, and that's that's the entire defense. You know, I've set up, set up here and told you we need to work on tackling, we need to work on this, we need to. I mean, every day you need to work to get better, and and I think you're starting to see some of the growth of the entire group, and that's just that's everybody. It's not just individually. We talked about the early the portion of the season having multiple guys who wish they had one or two plays back. Mm -hmm. that you wanted to get that number down. How have you seen that progress? I, I think, you know, the last two weeks, you've really seen, you know, there's still, you know, there's still some guys that, that have one or two plays, but there's fewer of them. And uh, I, I think that's where you see the, the success of the defense starting to get, you know, we're starting to get better at that. Do you, uh, knowing that you're going to face the, the Jets offense, but mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of eyes on both teams' defenses here and, and kind of measuring them against each other. Do you think your guys <clears throat> like that challenge of, of going up against the Jets' defense on the same field? And well, I, I, I don't know if we necessarily look at it that way. I, I think that we look at our opponent's offense, you know, and uh, we stay solely focused on that. Um, you know, I, I, I'll just leave that up to you guys to, you know, see. You know, I think they, I think Robert's done a heck of a job, and and, and Joe Douglas has done a heck of a job of, of building that roster to what they want to do. 
you know, Robert came from San Francisco. He, you know, they got tough, fast, physical players, and you know, led by you know one of the best inside linebackers in the league with CJ. Um, but um, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. When you uh, picked Kayvon, you didn't know Kayvon would be there at five. One of the guys who could have been there was Sauce Gardner. I'm just curious what you – he seemed like your kind of cornerback. I'm just curious what you thought of well, him. Well, I mean, it's – it's first of all, I didn't do the picking. Good. All right, so uh, we, we took who was there. And, you know, uh, he, hindsight, you know, you just don't know what would happen. I'd like to get both of them. <laughs> Wait, what do you see in Zach? I, I think that you can tell that the, the guy has been around greatness. And you guys know my how I feel about Aaron Rodgers. Um, but you can tell the kid's confident. He's not a kid. He's a grown man. But the guy's confidence on how it's grown at, at, at playing the position. So, you know, I've, I've seen the improvement in, in the way he's running the offense. And, you know, the biggest challenge that we're going to have is that running back because he's special. And uh, he's, he's, you could tell that he's really come back from his injury and he's one step and gone. So we, we, we need all 11 to get to him. When you said this summer about uh, Banks, uh, I think you, you, that's when you used the goldfish for, uh, for Ted Lasso. Um, but when he's competing against guys who are on an elite level mm-hmm. um, and makes some of the plays that he made on Sunday, it, is he even further along than maybe most rookies would be? I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know that measuring stick. I, I think that uh, he's he's doing the things that we thought he could do coming out. You know, there's there's gonna you know there's gonna be receivers in this league that make plays, and you just gotta bounce back and play. You know, play the next play. You know, they got a great receiver there in New York that uh, he's gonna make plays. You know, you try to limit him, but he's gonna make plays, and you just gotta go play the next play. And, I'm not going to talk any schematics about Washington because we got them in a few weeks down the road, and and uh, you know I, I, it was a, it was a really good play by by Tay, you know. So, Wink, it seems like McFadden has really kind of elevated his game the last two weeks. It's just something kind of clicked for him in the last couple of weeks. I think it's the entire year. I think it's been since training camp. Uh, you know, he's, he's playing with a lot more confidence this year, and the game slowed down for him. Uh, you know, he learned a lot last year. You know, got his nose bloodied a little bit, and he's come back. And, and uh, you know, I think he's playing really well. How much does Bobby next to him you know, kind of help? Oh, that help. I mean, it helps with, you know, it helps both ways. You know, that they, they're used to playing with each other and, and communicating with each other. And, and, you know, you can throw Zay in that with, you know, third down stuff, second long stuff. And I, I think those three have, have done a nice job. Like with, with with Dallas and Buffalo, Miami and San Francisco and all these scary offenses you've played, is there any chance you might look at the Jets and go, ah? Please, no way. Not that run. That running back every time he touches the ball can go 85 yards. Um, and you know, with the receivers that they have, you know, you know, you don't talk about the others because because 17's, you know, he's 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 a werewolf out there. I mean, he he can make plays all over the place. But the other receivers are doing well, so we're we're going to have our hands full come Sunday. But we're excited about the challenge. Thank you.